Hey guys, how you doing today? This is my dog tail cactus. I wanted you to check her out. Look at all of these crazy ass roots coming off the top of her. And she's got roots, oops, coming out of the bottom of her. See all those? Now normally for cactus, ooh, I should have put her up on something so I wasn't breaking her. Um, normally for a desert cactus, I do not water this plant often. Maybe once a month um, in the winter. I just kind of let her do her thing. But being she is, I have her in a north window but she's under a really bright grow light so she has been growing um, this is December and she's still growing being in the house because she is under grow light so I am watering her just a little bit more than I normally would um, I really don't feed this plant I give her a little bit of worm castings that are in the soil when I repot her and then every once in a while she gets some fish fertilizer uh, but these these plants like to be in really high light as bright a light as you can get them now last year I grew her in a south window um, she really liked it there I just got this plant last year and I believe I got it at Lowe's or Walmart um, I think I got it at Lowe's. <clears throat> but you can see she is really, really filled out. Um, <laughs> I need to get her out of this pot. I'm going to be putting her in a much bigger pot. And then I probably won't have to repot her again for two, maybe hopefully three years. Um, I don't know. I mean, so far this plant has been growing for me pretty quickly. And I love how it's getting all these little roots. And it's, I don't know why she does that. But she does. But, um, or she has been. You can see she's got all kinds of little pups. Let me lift this up. She's kind of pokey, but she's not super pokey. I mean, you can touch it. And, but look at all the little pups that she's growing up. Oh, I'm going to drop it. Whew, that was close. I almost dropped her. Let's get a bigger hold, better hold off her. You can see like all the little pups right there. And she's got more. This is just a really beautiful plant. But I I just watered her yesterday. And I want to repot her. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to set her on right here. Usually, for my desert cactuses, I like to have um, sand in my soil, but I don't have any sand. I'm out, but <clears throat> I added a bunch of perlite to my already regular potting soil. Um, you could use uh, sand, you can use small rocks like your aquarium rocks that works really good people use vermiculite which vermiculite um as far as i know i don't really use it i don't think i've ever used it but it's more of just like a, a small stone but i've got a lot of perlite in her with her and i did put some worm castings in here i think i used a couple tablespoons that i mixed around well, I'm mixing it around now, but it's just a very light, airy soil. So I'm going to go ahead and this is a pot I'm going to be putting her in. So I'm just going to fill that up a little bit. And I don't know how I'm ever going to get all the soil around the sides <sighs> once I get her out of this pot because I know she is going to snap. And I'm just going to be lifting her up out of the pot and putting her right in the other. So I'm not going to be taking any of the soil off of her unless I see a problem. 
but I don't really think that there is. I watered her yesterday, so she should slip out of here pretty good. I'm just kind of squeezing it, and then, oh boy, yep. She's definitely, definitely root bound, and I'm just going to stick my fingers, my nails in. Loosen that soil up, and then I'm going to gently lay her down in here. And I'm going to make a mess out of this cactus, so I'll probably have to take her in and rinse her off. Trying to get the soil in here without breaking. breaking her up because oh I'm just gonna try to find a hole where I think I can get that soil down in pretty good and I'm just pushing it just kind of pushing it off to the other side Scooting it over as far as I can to the other side. I might have to make up some more soil. I thought I had plenty, but obviously I don't think I'm going to. She's sitting up a little high. <coughs> I'm going to scoot her back over here. Well, that's okay, I think, that she's sitting up higher. But she's a cactus, it's not really going to hurt. And see, she's touching me, and I'm, it, don't, it doesn't hurt, so... She's really not that pokey. I'm going to try to put some in over here. And after I water her in again, I'll just kind of keep trying to poke her down. I don't know. I may not have to make any more soil. Just kind of pushing it around so that there's dirt even all the way around the pot. Because of course, you know, I don't want to lift this up and put because it'll snap her. And so far, I think I've been lucky, and I don't think I've broken anything. I don't see anything on the table. Oh, yes, I do. A little tiny one. <laughs> I'll just throw that back on top when I'm done, I guess. Okay. But this is such a pretty, pretty plant, and... Usually, most of the time, a regular desert cactus seems to grow very slowly. This one seems to grow pretty quickly, actually. Of course, last year I did have her outside. She was hanging under a tree. Okay, I'm going to try to see if I can get... Yeah, that all looks pretty good over there. Pretty good over there. There's a leaf. Yep, I broke another one. A little tiny bitty one. I'll just throw them back in. Actually, the more I've messed with her, I do feel I am getting some prickers in me. But, 
They seem to be coming out pretty easy. Huh. That's the most I've ever actually messed with her, so. There, I just broke another one. There. I think. Nope. Well, she needs some more soil right there. I don't know if I can get into that area. Yes, I did. She looks... Pretty good. And, ooh, geez. I don't think I'm going to have to make any more slow for her. I think I'm good. From what I can see, it looks like she's all the way filled up. And I think what I'm going to do is. these little pieces that broke off I'm just gonna stick them right back down here in the edge of the soil and I've seen a couple more yet a couple of teeny tiny ones and if they take off they take off there's a piece that looks rotten so I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut above Probably should have just cut the whole thing off. But let's see if I see anything else that might need to be cut off. Mm, I'm not seeing anything. I love how these roots are just like coming out of here like crazy. I've never. I've got quite a few desert cactus and I've never seen one do that but it's a first so you see she's got a little bit of uh, battle wounds oh here's one that is I'm gonna cut that See how it was drying out right there I'm just going to cut that tip off and then I'll just stick it down in here it should take off so that's it guys my beautiful little dog tail cactus I really love her she's super cute and seems to be a pretty quick grower so all right guys I will talk to you later have a great day bye peace kind of fuzzy too but pokey a little bit not bad bye guys peace